Okay, so in this lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to learn a very powerful concept inside of Houdini, and that's grouping by pattern. All right, so pumpkins have a very unique look to them because they're kind of sectioned up into these little like peels that are kind of bulging out, right? And it, basically, that pattern is goes all the way around the whole, the whole pumpkin. And so to accomplish this effect, at least the way that I accomplished the effect was grouping by pattern. All right, so let's jump back into Houdini and take a look at how this works. So what we need to do is go and select this UV transform node first. What I want to do is I want to somehow select this whole strip of primitives right here. All right, and I want to select every other strip in this. And that way I can actually pull each one of those strips off and work on it individually because I need to create that pumpkin shape where you know it kind of bulges out right in the middle here and then it goes back into you know some sort of vein or something like that uh, I don't know all the, the appropriate botanical terms or whatever <laughs> but um, that has that kind of shape and so what I want to do is I want to create a pattern of grouping that allows me to peel off these little individual sections all right so to do that we need to go and uh, drop down a group by range node. This is how we start to do stuff like this. And this this little node is actually very powerful. So we can basically section up our models based off of some rules. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this the even group. And currently we are set to the relative to start and end, which is exactly what we want. All right. So the start and end basically allows us to pull off. Let's invert this here. It pulls off the, the first and last primitive in this whole list. So there's primitive zero. And then primitive, you know, whatever it is, 237. Okay. And so what I want to be able to do, all right, is I want to be able to select these strips. So you can see in this range here, if I turn this off here and go down here, if I were to increase this to two, I get every other primitive. All right. And that's a cool effect, just like that. You know, you do lots of stuff with that. All right. If I do it every third, we get this kind of spiraling effect. Let's do every fourth, so on and so forth, right? Well, what we could do is we could take the number of points from our profile. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. We're going to come into our profile right up here. What we can do is we can take the number of points. All right, in this case, it's 18. All right, we'll take those number of points and we'll feed that into our start or our select parameter right here in our group by range node. Okay, so to do that, we're going to utilize an expression. I'm going to say endpoints. And I want to get the number of points from that particular node. So this node all the way up here, this UV texture node. Okay, we'll call this final profile. How about that? Makes it easier to find. So I can just copy this now. Okay, and we'll come down to our group by range and we'll put two quotation marks, a dot dot and a forward slash to get up and out of this group by range node. Then we'll put in the name of the node that we want to get the data from, which is that final profile node. All right, and I'm going to hit enter. All right, let's take a look at the results of that. So now what I'm saying is I want to select 18 primitives of every four, and that gives us not what we're looking for. <laughs> All right, but you can see if I start to increase this, look at that, we're starting to create a pattern here. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, so what does this number have to be? So I want to, I want to select 18 points and I want to alternate that. So I want to select 18 primitives, I should say. And then I don't want to select 18 primitives. So that means I want to select 18 of this particular value right here times 2. Or twice that amount. So we'll say times 2. And you can see right there that that still doesn't give us our effect, but we're close. It's just offset by a little bit. And that's because we need to come in here and subtract 1. And we also need to subtract 1 over here. From our number of points and look at that all right hopefully that made sense all right we have to subtract one because uh, basically we have one more point than we do the primitive okay so there we go so now what i can do with this all right I n i've now created my pattern and i've set up a way to select every other strip there i can say blast all right, so I'm going to blast away all the even values here. So I'm going to say blast and set that to primitives. All right, and then I'm going to, going to copy this guy and we'll invert that selection. Pretty cool. So then we merge these guys back together. Let's merge them back together here. 
Now you can see they're all separated. And the reason why that is super powerful is because now I can drop down a for each connected. Let me actually turn that off there. So now I'm going to drop down a for each uh, connected piece. And we could loop through each peel, basically. So if I come in here and take a look at these guys here, I can go through each one of those. And each one of those guys, if we come into our UVs, still has its UVs all set up. How cool is that? All right, so that's how we procedurally go about creating a grouping pattern and then giving us the ability to work on each individual section in a procedural fashion. Because now I can run the same operation on each one of these peels. And I can be assured that, that all the rest of the peels are basically going to have that same operation run on it. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is close out the lecture there. And in the next lecture, we are going to go and take care of that little kind of bulging effect that we get on each one of these peels. All right. Thanks so much.